is not a nicety. It's not something nice to have for black folk. It is now an absolute necessity. If you do not get reparation soon, black folk, as I told you before, are through. Reparation is not a nicety, it's a necessity. What are the conditions? What are the conditions that precipitated black folk getting into this dilemma? And what black labor, white wealth did it tracked 800 years of history in very systematic terms to show you every strategy, every technique, every law, every public custom, and every public policy that were used to enslave black folk around the world and to maldistribute almost 100% of all this nation's wealth, power, resource, privileges, businesses, and controls of all levels of government into the hands of the dominant white society. And what slavery and Jim Crow segregation did with black folk, it intentionally maldistributed all the resources away from black folk and created a real-life monopoly game. Black folk in America are playing in a real-life monopoly game that you're totally ill-prepared to play and win. Peace, family. Welcome to Black Star TV 2.0. It's your boy, Black Star. And today, I want to talk about Lori Lightfoot, man, and the mayor of Chicago who lost in the election um, the other day. And the Democratic Party is crashing and burning. They're crashing and burning. And um, I wanted to really speak on that and get into it. I'm about to share my screen with y'all. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and that like button, man. You uh, already subscribed to the channel. I appreciate your support. Yo, let's get into this real quick. So Laurie Lightfoot is out. Vallis and Johnson are in for the April runoff. So I'm knock down this pop up, right? So they got Lori Lightfoot out here. Yo, the Democratic Party, I'm trying to tell you, listen, when she moved, she she tried to move all these uh immigrants into Chicago, into the black community. And the black community literally was, you know, outraged and speaking on her and telling her they wasn't going to support her and vote for her because she was undermining them with the immigrant class. And listen, man, when the black people speak, we have spoken, right? When black people speak, we speak, right? So at the end of the day, Lori Lightfoot, you didn't uh, do what the people wanted. So they got you up out of there. They got you right up out of there as we should, right? And all of these people, because watch this, they're going to try to blame her now for a lot of the crime that was going on in um in uh, Chicago. But I want to show y'all this real quick. Let me show y'all this, right? The year 2020, Chicago's police department budget was $1.76 billion. So $1.76 billion, pretty much $1.8 billion, right? So... Um, now in 2023, it's 1.9 billion. And they're saying that crime is still rising. So we need to fund the police. Now think about this family. Even if we go back before 2020, right? That, that police department budget wasn't 1.7 billion. It was less than that. And you keep got you keep getting funding, you keep getting funding, and crime isn't getting any better because funding, right? Funding the police on a military type level does not stop crime. It doesn't. Family, it doesn't stop crime, right? So now they want to use, they're going to try to use these things. Cause I've seen that in there about, you know, the the rise in crime when she was mayor and things like that. And this is the first time somebody that ran for mayor wasn't reelected in 40 years in Chicago, I believe. So, you know, this is a big deal, man. Black people, we aren't going for the BS no more, right? If you don't have specific agendas and specific policies specifically for black people, we can't rock with you no more. And we're going to let you crash and burn. And we're going to, you know, make sure that you don't, um, you you know I me. Mean? You stay away from the political sphere, and that we don't support anything you're doing, and anybody that's supporting you, we not rocking with, right? But uh, I definitely think that she was a uh, um a uh, what you call that? She was a uh, a Democrat, definitely. So again, we we got to make sure that um you know we <clears throat> definitely check these people, man. Check them. We got to ch keep checking them. And this is what it is. But see right now how they said Vallis and Johnson or whatever, we have to put people from the grassroots or our people in those political offices and running. See, it should have been somebody from the grassroots running against her. Right. 
I don't know who these other two people are. I'm pretty sure they're not grassroots because I never heard their name. I never heard anybody who, you know, talk the reparationist um, type of talk bring any of these people up. So I'm pretty sure they're not reparationists. But at the end of the day, right, um, that's why we have to run our own people in. We have to run our own people in these, in, in, especially in all the major cities. We have to run in all the major parts where Black people populate heavy. We have to run our people. We have to run our people so that we have agendas that's specifically for foundational Black Americans so that we don't get caught up with people like Lori Lightfoot and then that pushes us back. Right. Because she does stuff like bring in immigrants and allow them and push them in black neighborhoods. She's not pushing them in the white neighborhoods. She's pushing them in the black neighborhoods. But um, again, so we know that um, the Democratic Party is crashing and burning right now. They're crashing and burning. And this is what we need. We need for this to keep continuously happening so that they realize that, yo, you know what? We can't do nothing without these black folks. We can't do nothing without this black vote. We need that black vote. So we're going to have to give them something. You feel me? We're going to have to give them something tangible. All this symbolism stuff isn't working anymore. They not beat for that. They not coming out to vote. They not supporting the people that we putting in front of them that we want them to vote for. So at the end of the day, family, at the end of the day, we have to run our own people to take the place of these people. Because now if Johnson or Vallis or whoever that person was, if they are, you know, anti-Black American, then we still in the same boat. Chicago's crime still going to be up, this, this, that, and the third. And it's just still going to be a whole bunch of mess, right? And we still going to be looking at, uh, you know, Chicago like a third world country. Meantime, it's been ran by Democrats for the longest, right? But they still allow, because again, regardless whether it was ran by a Democrat or Republican, it would still be ran down because at the end of the day, this is anti-black racism and it's and it's used to um you know keep Chicago people dilapidated in poverty. That's all it's about, right? It's all about doing that to all of us around the whole country for the most part, right? That's what they're trying to do in every city. So we have to run our own people again, family. We have to run our own people. Um, in these positions so that we can take over politics. That's the only way we're going to ever get somebody in there that's going to um, run for us that is on a, um, that is on a, uh, you know, a lineage based policy, right? That's why we, again, make sure y'all support um, our brother, Marcel Dixon, Greg Marcel Dixon, make sure y'all support our brother, Greg, and, you know, so we can get people like that in who have our best interests at heart and, you know, who's going to fight for the people. But I'm going to let you guys go. Um, It's been, it's, you know, it's been a good day for your brother so far. And I hope that y'all have a productive day. Um, I got to get ready to get my black ass to work. So I'm going to let y'all go, man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all follow me on my podcast. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. And we up out of here, family man. Y'all have a blessed day. And shout out to the uh to the um to the queen who hit me with the cash app. I appreciate you. I appreciate all the love and the support, man. It's nothing but.